Okay guys, we'll give you a tour of uh, my home office. So let's go. So this is uh, my home office. I share it uh, with my wife, which is why we've got two chairs. And if some of you are wondering why we haven't just gone for hanging files, which if you've got to keep paperwork is, is uh, most efficient. Um, the reason is that um, we've got still a lot of um, files um, and uh, documents from our studies. So it's, we're in the process of digitizing it, but it will probably take uh, another year or two before we're fully digitized. Excuse uh, the study, it's not as tight as it normally would be because my wife's busy on some, some big projects at the moment. So um, that's why. Okay, so this is my little workspace. Now, when setting up a, a home office, I would just uh, recommend a couple of basic things. Maybe stuff that I'm gonna say is obvious, but there might be one or two things that you hadn't thought of. First thing is if you're positioning it and setting up for the first time, just make a note of where, if you've got ducted aircon, where the outlet is, because I love being cold. And if you're sharing the office with um, your wife or husband or whatever the case is, just uh, if you're the person that likes the cold, make sure that you're underneath the duct. Otherwise it can lead to some very uh, robust discussions about the the temperature. So if I, if I just go through, I'll go through briefly the, um, the setup that I've got. So on my desk, I only have got my, my diary over there. Uh, I have got a scratch pad. I've tried to be as digital and as paperless as possible um, to be as efficient as I can. But occasionally when I'm on a call, it's easy for me just to scribble down. So I keep a, a, a scratch pad right there. Plus to keep water water out there so I don't have to be, be up and down. I don't drink coffee or tea, so that doesn't really affect me. And then my glass case, because I do wear reading glasses and um, normal glasses as well. A bit of advice when choosing a lamp is, um, what I like about this lamp is uh, it's one of those ones which are sort of touch, so you can just touch it on and off, you don't have a switch hanging around all over the place. And I can also adjust the warmth of the light. So at night, I like it to be a little bit warmer colour, but during the day, I like it to be uh, the cold blue light. I've got hand sanitizer there. And then because this is actually my PC, I run a, an HP Xeon chip in this because I do video editing, etc. Um, I run a PC versus, uh, as opposed to a laptop. And you'll see here that I've, what I've done is I've plugged in a remote. I've got a remote here, a uh, hub, so that if I need, I don't have to reach underneath the, the desk or anything to, if I want to plug in a USB, I can just do it from the top here. And I've got four uh, USB 3 ports. Um, for those of you who might not be familiar, this will be old hat to, to most of the guys who know anything about tech, but um, if you see the blue ones, the blue USB inlets that, um, shows that it's supposed to be a faster uh, faster USB um, port. It's supposed to be a 3 or 3.1. But yeah, those speeds, those speeds vary, very, very much. Now, I'll just uh, take a step back here. For those of you trying to gauge the size, the, that main screen is a 42 inch. And then I have uh, on this side, uh, that is a 24 inch, I think from memory. And then that's my, my laptop below. So I like a big screen. You can never have uh, enough uh, real estate in my life. So get yourself a good screen. You don't have to buy an expensive monitor. This is actually a TV which was converted, and as long as it's got decent sort of resolution, you'll be you'll be fine. Don't you know? Just spend millions on on, on really expensive monitors. Um, funny enough, my the most expensive monitor I think here is my wife. She's got a curved, uh, got a curved monitor over there, but it's not quite as big as uh, as big as mine. So I've, um, I like to have the the real estate when I'm working on video and also um, for spreadsheets. Uh, what I wanted to mention here, because I've got both the my work laptop and this, if you are working with a work laptop, normally your company does not like you to install uh, additional software on it. And it is always useful to use the same keyboard and mouse um, if you're using your personal PC or another PC and a laptop, whether this is at work or, or at home, I suppose. Um, and what's really great about this uh, is that I've, uh, I'm using this Logitech 850K. I'm kind of getting used to it because I used to use software um, which was called a Seamless, S-Y-M-L-E-S. And basically that, you installed it on both and then you could use the, 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 um, the mouse and the keyboard sim uh, simultaneously uh, for, 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 both, for both different, for two different computers. With this one, you have to hit a button here uh, and then the keyboard will be now for this, which is, I've made my primary. And if I hit number two, it will then work on my uh, secondary. And the same on the mouse here, if you look on the mouse. So this is Logitech 850K. If I click that, let me just switch off this light so you can see it more clearly. Um, if I click click on there, you'll see it goes to number two. And now it's switched over to my to my work 
laptop, which you can see it's moving. And then if I swing back here and click it onto uh, number one, then you'll see that it starts moving on my on my big screen. So that's always something great to have, especially if you're operating with uh, with two with, with with two computers or two laptops or or PC and a laptop. I've then got uh, the charger for my personal phone, and then I've got a wireless charger, so my phone will sit in there. Um, normally, I always keep it fully charged. I've got the my uh, hub here, which is uh, which is the Dell, same as the one that I have in the in the car. Unfortunately, uh, Dell doesn't make a um, doesn't run power through that, so I have to run a separate power cable, which is all wired. And I would say make it as 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 um, it, it, tie, tidy away your ways as much as possible. I'm just going to pull this, this down here. One of the other things that I would say is as much as you can mount your monitors. So you'll see on this one, I'm just going to give you a peek behind. You'll see there's a wireless uh, card behind there as well. Uh, so ignore that, but this is mounted, even though it's such a big screen, it's also lifted up and that gives you a lot of desk space. So you can, I can slide that all the way out and then I've got all this desk space and I put everything out of the way. Um, and this as well, I can slide my laptop underneath if I'm, not, if I'm not using it. I just chose to set it up this way, but it gives you a lot more desk space when you, if you can lift your monitors uh, off, the, off the counter. And then I've got some other ancillary stuff there. I've always got a price book uh, handy for what I do. Okay, this is a home as well as an office, so I've got a little prayer corner there for when we pray with the kids at night. And then over here, um, this is a printer. We've got a, this is a wireless printer. It's on the network. And the nice thing about this is, that of course, uh, my wife and I use, can use the same printer. We have always got backup of inks because if your ink is going to run out, it's going to run out at 9 o'clock at night. So just keep your backups and keep your spares um, here underneath, very close to, to where the printer is so you don't have to hunt for it. Um, also, when you're setting up drawers, you can never have enough drawers in my view. So this would be uh, all my, my writing materials. And if we're sharing an office, um, uh, it's also nice, well, I've just done it, but you can, if you label label it, then if somebody, you know, is visiting or whatever, and they want to use your office and they know where everything is. Um, and then this is for, so I keep everything for attachments, sticky stuff, anything, clips, anything that you can attach paper with. Um, and then just a label and punch and whatever. The other thing I wanted to say is don't buy rubbish. If you're going to buy a punch, buy a good punch. If you're going to buy a, um, so I've got a, a small stapler there, but that's not the, sorry, that wouldn't be the primary uh, stapler. We have a bigger office stapler here, which can staple 70 sheets. So uh, we well equipped. Um, I have a, um, underneath the desk, I've got a, um, a shredder, but just, invest in, uh, in 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 pretty pretty good stuff so it doesn't get uh, frustrating when, when things don't work